what do you think the future of hip hop is? Because from your time to the present time, it's changed. It's almost like it's not the same genre. I, I think the future of hip hop really uh, is us. Mm -hmm. Because at, at the end of the day, with all the different elements, you know, uh, that's involved in hip hop and then how the marketing and then the promotion and then what the internet, you know, what the internet uh, was supposedly had done to the record buying public. It, 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 ha it has a good, it has a good side. It has a bad side because for some reason these guys can't sell records. But the good side is if you make the right record, and this is what I believe, it's just a theory, this is what I believe, if you make the right song, then people are going to buy it simply because it's a good song. Now, the, 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 the record business is run on the premise, you got to sell records to kids because kids buy records. And that's been the premise for years, that's the record business. Now it's true, but it's not true because of the simple fact, kids don't have the money to buy the records. <laughs> they got it from a parent. So now that the kids don't have to buy records, they're just not going to buy them. But if you make the right record for a parent, I'm talking about grown people hip hop, <laughs> You have to make the right type of songs, and you have to promote it a certain way, but if you can do that, you'll be able to sell records. It's just like right now, I just heard on the radio maybe like two days ago, CD sales are down 20%, but vinyl is up 30%. And that's what I, you know, when I see Tom Silverman and I see all the people that rock with the record companies, like, we got to change the game. We, if we take it back, we can move it forward because we could, you know, just for the nostalgia of it, you could bring back selling vinyl. I mean, that's what all the rock and roll guys is out there doing. But because, you, you know, this is what people understand about music all over, and there's no different between hip hop and other music. When you make classic songs, those songs never go nowhere. When you make a truly classic song, you can hear it, it right now, and if you hear it tomorrow, and if you hear it the next day and the next day, how it works in your brain is like, if it's a real classic song, it's like it's the first time you heard it all over again. That's how it works. A new song, time is going to make it a classic. So it don't, you don't, they, don't necessarily, they don't have the edge that we got. So what, what you know, now somebody, so somebody from a record company, all they have to do is just understand the concept of all these you know, classic songs of hip hop being classic music, and then you make it so that the event is geared toward the adult. Because I'm 52 years old, I've been doing it since I was 17. I would buy a song if I liked the song. I'm not gonna buy a song about some dude, yeah, I grew up and I, you know, I grew up in the hood, we was poor, and I sold dope. But if you make a really, you know, it don't gotta be a serious song, it could be, you know, just like, you know, because I'm happy, it could be any song. But if you make a good enough song, and, 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 and that's why I say the future of hip hop is, is, is not going to be nobody young because they just going to go by the same blueprint. You know, they're going to they're going to try to Justin Bieber their way into fame. You know what I mean? And that don't necessarily that don't that that don't that's not necessarily going to work. But but if, but if you you know leave it up to the classic, the Rolling Stones is always going to be the Rolling Stone. It's just with hip hop that blue, you know that that rule doesn't does didn't kick in yet. You know, it's like, you know, like uh, uh, if, if Jay-Z was, a, you know, you know uh, hey, hey, Jay, hey, Jay-Z, Mel is on the phone, he's trying to get it. You mean, fuck Mel. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? If you, add, if, if, if you told Bon Jovi, hey, Bon Jovi, if I came up to Bon Jovi right now, hey, listen, I got, I got Mick Jagger on the phone, he want to talk to you, he'll take the phone and get on the phone. And I'm bullshit. But he'll, he'll get on the phone because he know who that is. It's Mick Jagger, you know, just in, just in case, you know, it, it's Mick Jagger. You see what I'm saying? Now, that rule with hip-hop ain't kick in yet. But it's going to kick in because the the, the money the money the, the same thing that made them that's going to break them the money side of this thing is always going to move it forward.